Customization is all the rage these days, but when it comes to cars, those add-ons can add thousands to a new car's price tag. With 3D printing, though, cheap custom parts will soon allow anyone to pimp their ride. The automotive industry is it's really an industry based on molding technologies, like making very large-scale parts, but very complex. But there always are limitations in making pieces with molds. So we're offering a technology that can really bring it a step forward, like implementing elements that were not possible before, like moving parts, for example, or, um, or even making two materials at the same time in one uh, object, um, making custom seats, for example, custom steering wheels, uh, custom dashboards. Uh, these are all possible. If we make thousand pieces a little bit different, it's, for us it's not such a big difference in price. If you would do it with molding technologies, it's, it's a huge, uh, huge investment. We've made a PlayStation car, a GT from Citroën, and uh, basically it started from a 3D model, actually, that was used in the PlayStation game. And they actually made a, a concept car out of it, and we made components for that copper-plated center console. It's actually a functional part. It was not used only for visual purposes, but you could actually drive that car and, and use the components. And nowadays, you already see the first manufacturers applying actual 3D printed pieces in actual production cars, which is a very big thing. If the technology advances as, as uh, fast as uh, desktop computers, within five to 10 years, we will be able to print our own car. This market is a stock pickers market. Stocks are proud this year. We're coming into a Monday where we're going to